Well, today I'm finally taking on a project that I've put off for far too long, and that is I need to get this clear bra removed from my pickup truck. Now, I bought my truck a little over 10 years ago, and this was on here when I bought it. And over time, it has really deteriorated. It's cracked, it's faded, um, it's peeling. It's just in really bad shape. Now, I figured this was gonna be such a horrible project. It's just something I've been putting off for a long time. However, today I'm actually in the process of doing some other work on the front of my truck. Everything's off and it just seems like now's the time to finally tackle this and get it done. So I'm going to try a few different methods to get this off of here today, share those with you, hopefully help you out. Now what I'm going to try is I have some goof off here, I also have some WD-40, and then I have another video where I used actually gasoline to remove dried on duct tape from the paint of a truck I was working on and it did great. So I think we'll be using that here today as well. Now I also went in, stole my wife's hair dryer, we'll use that to heat it up, and then we'll use something like this trim removal tool that has like a flat plastic blade to help me scrape it off of there and lift up on it, hopefully that will help us. And then I also have my Lyle gasket scraper, and it also has a plastic blade in it, and that should help us get our project done today as well. So before we dive into it too deep, let me get you up close so you can see exactly how bad this is and what we're dealing with and then let's get into the project. So the first thing we're gonna do is start over here in this corner and I thought the best place to start would be with our hair dryer. So I have it set on the hot setting. We'll go to high, we're gonna heat this up a bit and then I'm gonna take my Lyle gasket scraper with the plastic blade and we're gonna see if we can't start working that up and then try and peel it off. Well, that worked certainly far better than what I thought it would, um, but it worked as I had hoped, let's say. Um, it did manage to go through with the heat and be able to scrape off that clear vinyl, if you will, but naturally we still have some of that residue left over. We'll try some goof off on that, see if we can't get rid of the residue, but the vinyl itself is completely gone. We're just left with that glue. So I just went and got a cotton ball. I have some goof off now and we'll go ahead and see if we can't get our adhesive off. So with a little bit of work and some elbow grease, we got all of that residue removed off of there and all of the vinyl is gone. This came out great. Now, unfortunately, this is giving me another project to do and that is you can definitely see a difference in the paint uh, between what was covered and naturally UV protected versus the old paint. So once all this gets off, then I get to take, go through all this with my buffing and polishing compound so I can make this all look right and uh, have my colors match. But in this case, on this side, we have this all removed and it came out pretty easy. We're gonna now move over here to this side and quite frankly, this side was much worse than this. Um, this was still pretty much a solid piece. Where over in here is where we're really starting to run into where it's cracked up really bad and in separate pieces and it's shrunk and expanded and it's in really bad shape. So we're gonna continue with our blow dryer routine and work it in here a bit and let's see how well it does over here.
So this here is about eight to 10 minutes worth of work with the blow dryer. And we were actually able to go through and I switched over to my panel removal tool just so you could see the differences. Um, and it did just as well. What I did notice a couple of things that may help you as you go along the way. Number one, the warmer that you can get this, the easier it comes right off. And number two, the other thing I learned is it seemed to do well if you start on one side and work your way over. If you notice it, kind of like mowing your lawn, where right? I kind of do a strip and then I go up and do another strip and do another strip as opposed to just trying to plow down through the middle. It seemed to work better if I took it off in smaller stripes as I went up. But we have this down now to where we have just the adhesive. And so now for an experiment, what we're going to do over here is instead of the goof off, we're going to try using some gasoline on this part here and see how it does with the adhesive versus the goof off we used over here. couple of quick things I noticed right off the bat already. Number one, the amount of adhesive that was left on the paint on this side versus this, there's a lot more adhesive on here. Uh, the gas did way better than the goof off in terms of melting, if you will, that adhesive and make it easier to get off. But there was just so much adhesive, it just kind of started to turn it into a paste here um, with the gas, and so it's harder to clean off. So I am going to switch to a rag dousting gas to work this area more, um, as opposed to the Q, as opposed to the cotton ball because that just kind of moved it around. But you can see it's already taken a huge portion of that off. Let me switch to a rag. I'll douse it in some gas, and we'll come back and finish off this area. That came out great. We're down to the paint and we got a few scratches, quite frankly. You may not be able to see it on the video um, from my plastic scraper here in the paint. However, because of the color variance between what was covered and what's not, I'm going to have to go through my hood anyway and buff all of this to try and even out that color. So these scratches are so minor, they'll come out real easy with just a polishing or a buffing compound. I'm not concerned at all about those, but all things considered, and it's not sticky anymore, this part's done. So this was great. This part came out good. So now we're going to move on and just keep moving down the line. Now for my next experiment, I doused my rag in gas again. And what we're going to do is soak this and let it soak for a few minutes and then try and scrape it and see if that makes it go any easier. So quite frankly, at this point, I, I am getting it off slowly but surely down here. But I don't believe that's the gas that's making this come off. I think that's just the sheer use of the plastic scraper. And, and I can only take off very small amounts, as you see here, at a time. But it would work without the heat. Um, but it isn't, the gas isn't affecting it in terms of getting it loose and making it easy to come off of here. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll try a little bit of WD-40, see if that makes any difference. Maybe that will penetrate and get down in there. If those don't work, I think what we're finding is the easiest route is to take the blow dryer, heat it up really good, and then go along with it with the scraper, take it off, and then come back and take off the adhesive. But let's try our WD-40 now and see if that makes any difference.
So the WD-40 definitely helped. Um, I'm not so sure that it helped in terms of removing the adhesive as much as it just acted as a lubricant and it made it easier to actually move the blade under there. Um, because up in here where it's a bit more broken up, I just, it takes a lot of force to actually start to remove it. And it will, as you can see here, um, but it takes a lot of force to where when it's heated up, it just pretty much, you just kind of follow along and it comes right up. So we're gonna go back to, so now we've tried WD-40, we've tried Goof Off, and it looks to me like the best results that we're gonna get is by going with doing heat to take it off first. So I'm going to switch things up a little bit here and that I went and got my actual heat gun. Not everybody's got a heat gun, so I wanted to show that you could do it with just your standard household hair dryer, but I have my heat gun. I think that's going to heat this up much quicker and allow me to do this faster. Um, the other thing I'm going to try is I went and just got one of my plastic scrapers here um, that I use for actually doing like drywall touch up and that. You can get these where all your spackle and stuff is at like home depot or lowe's and i'm going to try that and see if we can't do a bit wider um, if not then we're just going to go back to our trusty trim panel piece here but let's see if we can go a little bit quicker by using a heat gun that's going to put out more heat
And so this project is wrapped up for today and I'm really happy with the results. My hood looks so much better than I did before. However, this was quite a project and it took me about four to four and a half hours to get it done. That adhesive is quite a bit of work to get off of there. Plan on putting some elbow grease into it if you want to get it all off. Now, what I found that worked out best for me was to actually use blow dryer or a heat gun to heat it up and then what I would do is use a plastic scraper to actually scrape it off. Now the other thing I learned along the way is if you take something say for example like a file and you keep rubbing your plastic scraper on there and keep your edge sharp it really helps it be able to get all of that clear bra off of there much quicker and it does a better job. The other thing I did that actually saved me a lot of time is on the second half I went over it twice and actually took Took even more adhesive off and that saved a lot of cleaning time so I recommend doing that now as you're doing this and you're heating this up remember um, this here is pretty much what's left over but this stuff gets really hot and it's really sticky and it'll stick to your fingers and it can burn you so be careful as you do that now once I got that done I just used my gasoline to actually get all the adhesive off be careful doing something like that it is flammable so do it at your own risk and also test it in a spot to make sure it won't damage your paint but that was able to get that off and then when I was done I just used some Dawn and a squirt bottle with some water and cleaned it off and wiped it down. For a final coat, what I did is I took my Meguiar's Dual Action Cleaner Polish and I just went over it, polished it up real good, gave it a good shine, and pretty much this project's done. Now tomorrow I'm going to have to get my Dual Action Polisher out and do the hood so I can get everything to match color-wise now, but for the most part we're wrapped up today. So I hope you got some good information here that's going to help you get your project done. If this video has been helpful to you, please do me a favor and hit that like button for me. It just lets YouTube know that y'all appreciate my content. If you'd like to see more videos like this one here in the near future, why don't you hit that subscribe button and stick around here with me. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching.